Most people think they know how to use AI, but the truth is they're collecting shiny tools and not building anything real. So this isn't another top AI tools video. I'm showing you how I combine AI into a system that actually runs my entire life. Because when it actually works, it doesn't feel like tech, it feels like peace. But before I can break down the individual pieces, you first need to understand what a great system actually looks like. Here's the only thing you need to understand about productivity systems. The less friction, the better results. What I mean by that is the less your system takes, the the more it gives. And I took that exact philosophy into account when building out this AI system. So what does that look like when it's actually working? You wake up energized with a clear outline for the day. Not too much to where it's overwhelming, but just enough to get you moving and on track. You're not bouncing around between five different apps three times a day pretending that Tracking your progress is real progress. Everything's gonna be centralized, simple, and flexible. To build that, I designed this system with three core layers. One, clarity. This is planning and prioritization without overthinking. Two, execution. Getting things done fast and correctly. Three, reflection. Focusing on what matters and avoiding burnout. Each layer solves a different problem, and together they build a system that's actually sustainable and works with your real life. Now let me show you how I used AI to make each one of these steps actually possible. Plus, at the very end of this video, I'm showing you exactly how I supercharge all of these layers so they work together seamlessly. With that out of the way, let's jump right into layer one, clarity. This is your pre-planning, the part that makes sure nothing important slips through the cracks. Now, if you're anything like me, your brain is constantly juggling a million different thoughts. Meetings, deadlines, due dates, there's so much input and nowhere to put it. And when your brain is constantly forced to make tiny decisions throughout the day, you get a psychology term known as decision fatigue. Your brain's exhausted from reacting, sorting, and figuring out what the hell is going on. So clarity isn't going to be about doing more things. It's going to be about doing what actually matters. Now, the first step in all of this is going to be identification. Think of your brain like a bar. You only want people who are 21 and over to enter. To do that, you need a virtual bouncer guarding the door, turning away anything that doesn't belong. For me, that bouncer is Apple Notes plus ChatGPT. Every random thought, idea, or deadline gets thrown in of Apple Notes, and then I synthesize it by sending it all to ChatGPT and asking for a summary of whatever's important. So instead of being forced to react to every single thing, I only pay attention to what is flagged as actually important for me. But filtering priorities is only part of it. Once you understand what's actually important, you need to figure out when you're going to get that done. That's where Reclaim AI comes in. Most productivity tools will just send you a reminder. Reclaim AI goes a step further by defending your time. I set up routines, focus blocks, tasks with deadlines, and then Reclaim finds places to put those inside of my calendar. And if something else comes up, it adapts without me touching a single thing. All I need to do is let it know what happened. It's like having your own personal assistant in the background, making sure there's time to get necessary things done. By the end of layer one, you're not just dumping your brain. You're building a plan that actually flexes with you. Already, you're choosing tasks, not chasing them. But choosing the right task means nothing if you can't follow through. That's where layer two execution comes in. But first, if you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm almost at 1,000 subs, which is my goal for the end of the year. Thanks for watching so far. Now let's start with the thought process behind layer two, getting more done with less mental load. Most people rely on discipline and willpower to push through their tasks that need to get done. They use things like to-do lists or focus hacks and think that's gonna work in the long term, but most of the time it fizzles out just as quick as it started. The constant pressure of getting things done along with consistent distractions leads to most people falling Falling into the same cycle of starting, stalling, and then repeating. But what if execution didn't feel like a grind? It just felt like something you naturally fell into. To do that, all you have to do is reduce the mental load of starting and then hang on to that momentum. Now, the first tool you need to make that execution piece feel effortless is Motion. Motion is an AI calendar app that helps you control your time. You just drop in tasks and deadlines similar to Reclaim, and then Motion's gonna handle exactly when you need to get things done. But it also goes a step further. It actually builds out your entire day, protects your focus blocks, and makes sure everything gets done. It also prevents you from playing last minute catch up because as soon as you wake up and check your phone, there's no need to plan for 30 minutes. Your entire day's already been plotted out right on the app. But even with motion handling when I do my work, sometimes I don't really know how to get started. When you have a hundred different tasks for the day, it can be a bit overwhelming to start and stop each. So I use a second tool to remove that friction and help me keep momentum, Claude. Where motion and reclaim protect your time block, 
Claude fills that with momentum. Whenever I have blocks scheduled, I'll take a screenshot and then send it over to Claude. I give it a few bullet points or necessary information, then tell it what I'm trying to accomplish. It's like having a coworker who's always ready to complete the first 20% of any task I give it. I'll also use Claude to break down large step-by-step -step plans that I can't quite comprehend. Claude will just tell me exactly what I need to do and when I need to do it to get this task accomplished. Or when I'm working on really dense research, like articles, meeting notes, or videos like this, I'll send it all over to Claude and then ask for a summary back. He'll also be able to identify any gaps and misunderstanding. It'll extract the essentials so I'm able to start with clarity instead of digging through all this different information. So now you've outlined what's important, you know exactly how you're going to get it done, but if you don't know if it's actually working, you're setting yourself up for no progress and then burnout. That's where layer three reflection comes in. It's how you ensure your system grows with you, not collapses under you. You need to know what's working, what's not, and then adjust based on that. If you only have feedback, you'll spot the issues, but you'll never find a way to improve. If you're adaptable, but you have no feedback, you're never going to know what you actually need to change. So you're going to make a ton of unnecessary changes, ruining something that's potentially working. And if you're missing both, you're going to overload your system slowly until eventually it breaks, you make no progress, and then you're burnt out. You'll lose sight of whether your system's working for you or against you. Now to break that loop, you need those two key players of feedback and adaptation. And for me, ChatGPT is able to handle both. At the end of each week, I do a short brain dump wins, losses, anything I'm working towards, and then I ask ChatGPT to synthesize or summarize everything for me. I do this by sending it two distinct questions. Number one, what patterns do you notice? Number two, what should I change next week to improve what I'm currently doing? What comes back is clear, actionable, and honestly, most of the time, it's stuff I would never even notice. With that feedback, I'm able to internalize it and then take it into the next week and further on. This will allow for continuous improvement and adaptation based on direct feedback I'm giving to ChatGPT. Now, the more honest you are with yourself and with ChatGPT, the better result you're going to be getting. You can't lie about what you're winning or what you're losing. You need to be truthful. And that's exactly how you keep this system to stay alive. You don't just use it to run your life. You use it to help you live even better. Now, all these layers are extremely powerful on their own, but if you want to supercharge them, I encourage you to try this. Use your reflection insights that you gain from ChatGPT in this third layer to directly update your plans. When you feel yourself maybe getting a little bit burnt out or chat GPT senses kind of a drain in your energy levels take that information and put it into the reclaim app put in more blocks for relaxation or reset or when it spots a win use that to block more time in motion then take the data and information on those wins and feed it directly back into chat GPT or Claude to get even more feedback faster. That's how each piece feeds into the next until the system works completely seamlessly and is literally supercharged just for you. So that's the full system, clarity, execution, and reflection. Each layer solves a different problem many people face when they're trying to build a good productivity system. And now you have a lot of tools that aren't just shiny, fancy AI, but actually things that are going to help you become more productive. The real power wasn't even found with the tools. It was found with how they all work together seamlessly. These tools aren't just going to add noise. They're going to make your life literally feel 10 times easier and you're gonna be able to get so much more work done. Now, if you're building your own AI stack or you want my advice on maybe some different tools, drop a comment and I'll make sure I reply to you. I'd love to see what you're working with. And if you made it this far, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'm gonna be putting out a lot more content like this. So thanks for watching, bye.